All right, so last week it was beautiful. We got to go fishing, the weather was great. And just like that, it, here in Alabama, it is freezing outside again. So I am back in the garage this weekend and I'm piddling on the kayak. I figured I would throw the camera up because I'm fixing to make a little mod to the back end of the boat. I usually run a small battery box to carry my 100 amp hour Dakota lithium battery. I wanna delete that box and use the Engel cooler since I've already got plenty of storage here on the boat for tackle. And I wanna mod that cooler so that I can use it to store and hook up my 100 amp hour Dakota lithium battery. So that's what we're gonna to do today. I'm gonna to cut some holes in this angle. We're gonna slide it forward and get rid of this box here. Now stick around. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ, welcome to Kayak USA. So like I just mentioned, today we're gonna be modding my Engel box. We're gonna make it so that I've got USB ports on the side of it that I can plug my camera and stuff up to. But the main reason I wanna put it in there is to delete one of these boxes and I'll be able to hook my trolling motor. We're gonna have a plug that we can just plug into the front of the Engel cooler. Hopefully by the end of this video, we've got it slid forward, we've got this box deleted, and we've got a good place to store our 100 amp hour Dakota lithium battery. It don't weigh much and it's small enough, I think we can just drop it right in that cooler behind the seat and not have any issues at all and free up a lot of space on the back of the boat. So if we need to add other things behind the cooler, we'll have that space back there to add it. But I do wanna say, you may hear some noise in the background. Let me grab this other camera. Because if you follow my channel, you know over the past fall or through the winter, I guess, I built a chicken coop with a run in the backyard. I'll throw up a picture of it right here. Uh, if you didn't see the build video, I'll put the link right here. But my chickens came in, I'll show you, I've got them. We've, we're keeping them inside for the next probably two months. We're gonna brood them and raise them. They just hatched, so they're super tiny. They're only, uh, I think a few days old, but we've got 17 of them. And it's hard to tell with this red heat lamp in here, but they're all doing very good, they're healthy. So I'm gonna be keeping them inside. We're gonna brood them, I think is what it's called and we gotta keep them at a certain temperature, I think around 70 to 75 degrees, and just keep an eye on them, keep them safe here in the garage over the next couple of weeks, or probably, I say six to eight weeks before we actually move them to the big run in the backyard and get them adapted you know, to the, to the backyard and outside, but they're staying pretty happy in here. If you are probably gonna hear them throughout my next few videos though, especially when I'm filming in here in the shop like this, they're on the other side, You'll hear them in the background, just try to ignore them, but they're cool as heck, I love them to death. But all right, let's get into the mod. So I wasn't even planning on doing a video today. I was just out here piddling around with my camera pole. I did some modifications to it where I, I actually ran the power wire inside of my DIY power pole. And this pole I've actually made years ago. It was one of my first big kayak mods for uh, videos for my channel here, but I've always ran the wire on the outside and yesterday I decided I wanted to drill a hole and try to run it on the inside and I did. So now we've got the power wire hooked up on the inside and we can make it go up and down. It's telescopic steel wires on the inside and at the bottom, I always plug it into the side of my box here. But let me show you up close really quick what I've been working with. So this is the Engel box that I've had. I've had it for a long time. I'm really not sure what size it is. I don't know if it says it. <laughs> Uh, it's, not, it's not the biggest one they make, but it's got the rod holders and stuff, and I've been using it for a long time. And I bought this battery box here. And the way I've got it set, I've got this kind of modded a little. I've got a little SAE port that I put in here. My USB port, I actually put on this side, and this is what I've been using to plug up. Oh, if I can reach it, my camera USB, I always plug it straight into the side of that so I can run my camera way up here behind me all day off of the same you know, 100 amp hour Dakota lithium battery. But I want to get rid of this box because I've got, I'm in talks right now with a, uh, a company and you'll see the video pretty soon where I'm gonna be adding something pretty cool to the back of my kayak. And I, I've already got my space limited back here behind the angle. So I think I want to delete this box right here today 
and I've got plenty of room for us to drop the Dakota lithium in here, make it so that I can strap it down inside of here, and I'll still have a little bit of room for storage, but mainly this will be for the battery. Like, I really don't need the storage back here because I've got my side trays that I usually carry tackle in. I've got my drawers here under the seat, which as you can see, these drawers hold a ton of tackle. And I've got tackle here, and I've also got a full hatch up front that I can carry stuff in. So I'm not worried really about losing my space for tackle or even food because I've got my Blue Dot cooler. If you guys do not have one of these Blue Dot coolers, I'm gonna leave a link, and I might even have a promo code, but I know I've got a, a link that I'll link to this cooler. This thing is bad to the bone. They come in a couple of different colors. I think I've got, let's look over here. I've got a blue one that's not on my seat that I can show you. This thing right here is cool as heck. So they're designed to strap and hang on the back of your kayak seat. And it's, a, it's shaped like a square right now because I've got it set up like that. But you can undo these clips if you didn't want the square shape and then it just turns into a regular flat bag. But if you strap it up like that and it's made to mount right on the back of your seat and it's an actual cooler. You see, this is where I keep my food and stuff. So I'm not worried about losing the Engel cooler for food and drinks because I have this blue dot and I carry all of my food and drinks in that cooler hanging off the back of the seat. So it's really easy to grab, you know, my drink or a snack or something like that. So I think this Engel cooler, look at there, I got a stink bug in here. They just come in here nonstop. Do y'all get these? I'm in Alabama and we get them in the garage like all the time. But anyway, let me, uh, let's start with unhooking this. I've got my bungees kind of rigged up to a way that has been working great. So now I've got to undo all these bungee cords. We're gonna undo my wires. The way I got my wires hooked up to this box is I just got these two little twist on nuts here and there's my hot and then here's my negative. And we may use these same ones from this lid and just take them off of this lid because it's got the two wires. It's got your heavy duty red, your heavy duty black, and they come from those studs. And we could just incorporate those studs like right here without using a plug. But I thought about, I'm gonna look and see if I've got like a plug, like a marine plug, I'll put it on the side of this. But if I don't, we'll just use that and just kind of drill the holes. I think, uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty good. Now guys, this is not gonna be a technical video like some of my others where I've got, you know, this idea planned out. I've thought about it for a long time. This idea just kinda came to me. I was gonna do it today whether I filmed or not, so I just figured I'd throw a camera up, film, and maybe some of you guys can get something out of this. Uh, if you do like these videos, I really appreciate you guys hitting those thumbs up and sharing the videos because when you do that, it really boosts me up in the algorithm and it helps more people see my videos. So if you're already doing it, I really appreciate it. If you're not doing it, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you like the video, I do, I do appreciate all the support. So yeah, it's not gonna be a technical video. I'm just gonna set the camera up. We're gonna start taking all this stuff apart. And then we're gonna figure out first, I guess the main thing I need to see, look at this battery. Dakota lithium, Ugh. It's, it's like half the weight of a regular battery. I, you can't just sling a regular lead acid with one hand like that. Let me get this out of the way. So it fits good. I don't think we're gonna have any issues. I'll show you with this camera. It fits really low. We can figure out how to support it in there. And there's plenty of room at the top for the lid to shut. And I've got some mat coming that I ordered that matches the rest of this that we're gonna cut a piece and go on the top of this back here. So when it's behind the seat, it just blends in. But I think that's gonna work good. And I also think for the USB port side, since my camera mounts here and I use this port, this usually, you know, I just plug it up right there into this battery box. We may relocate this port to like right in here or maybe right here on the side. I don't know, we'll see. Let's start taking all this stuff off my boat and we'll just, we'll just wing it today. How about that?
All right, I'm actually pretty happy that I'm doing this because it is filthy up under where the cooler has been since I bought the kayak. I've had that cooler sitting here and the battery box has been mounted right there for over a year. So I'm gonna get to clean this up a little bit. And I've also got to decide if I wanna put scupper plugs in here because I notice when I'm running that motor wide open down the river, it blows water up these rear scupper holes for some reason. And like the other day when we went on that long run uh, on Logan Martin, I ran for probably 30 minutes wide open with the XI3. And I looked back here a couple of times and I had like probably two inches of water in this rear compartment because it was blowing up through the scupper holes. Now, once I stop, it all drains back out. Uh, so I gotta decide, once I put the cooler in here, it's gonna cover, I believe, both of those holes pretty good, yeah. So it's gonna completely cover my scupper holes. So I gotta decide if I wanna plug them or not plug them. So the downside, if I don't plug them, uh, well, I mean, the upside, I guess, would be if I don't plug them, if we, get, if we get caught in rain, the rain will be able to drain out from back here. It's not gonna hold water. But if I don't plug them, then there's water gonna push up through up under here and fill it up. I guess it's not the worst thing in the world because when I do stop running, it drains. So yeah, I've already talked myself out of it. I'm not putting the plugs in. We're just gonna clean up up under it really quick, figure out how I'm gonna mount this thing in the back. But I think before we get into mounting it, I think mounting it's gonna be easy. We're gonna go over to the workbench and start drilling holes and mounting USB ports, figuring out how we're gonna get the battery firm in there. I don't want it bouncing around when we're going down the highway. I want to be able to lock it down. So we're going to have to drill some stuff and do a little modifications to this old cooler in the back before we go mounting it back here. So let's go over to the workbench and I guess kind of get a game plan of what we're going to do to this thing. All right. Now remember, I am definitely winging this. This is the kind of stuff that I do usually off camera where I build stuff and I kind of figure out what I'm going to do as I go. I really don't have a solid game plan, but I'll tell you what I'm thinking so far. Uh, I do like the way the trolling motor hooked up to two different studs. Sometimes I would go out when I do stuff like this and I would buy like a trolling motor plug that goes in the front of a bass boat. You got your female port and your male adapter that plugs into it. That would be a good route to put in here. But I do like these studs because I get to use a thicker wire. Uh, usually, you know, like this is probably, I'm gonna say a 10 or an eight gauge wire. I think it's a 10 gauge wire but you get to use this really thick wire with these studs. And if I switched it down to a plug, those plugs, you know, they only get so thick. I think they're, I, I wanna say a 12 or maybe not a 14 gauge, probably a 12 gauge wire, but I, I don't wanna step it down. And I think I can reuse out of this box. This is a box that I bought that come with the studs in it and a little battery checker at the top. And I added these USB ports and that SAE port to the side of it. So we're gonna pull that port out. We're gonna pull these ports out and utilize all of this stuff that came with this box to help me in this box. So I'm just gonna start drilling holes and kinda, if I figure out something cool along the way, I'll go over it with you, but I'm just gonna wing it right now and see what I can do to get this thing installed today. Just like that guys, this build is complete. 
Oh, you like how I'm saying just like that. This is actually three days later, and I've been working on this thing for three days every day after work when I got home because I kept changing my mind from the minute that I started this video. I really didn't have it figured out how I wanted to do this. I originally wanted to have this a battery box and also use it for storage, but I changed my mind in the middle of the build and decided to go a different route. So this is the final outcome. I hope I filmed a decent build, uh, you know, for you guys to see kind of how I built it, but I'm gonna go over it with you really quick and show you everything that I added to it and how I converted this Engle dry box into a battery box. It's just a sole, solely a battery box now. So let me show you right here. So on the outside, it still looks the exact same minus the, I did add this, uh, it's, this isn't marine mat, and as you can tell, it's a little bit lighter gray than the stuff that's actually in my boat. I'll give you a shot right there. But it went on pretty good. I've actually got it from Amazon. This is a roll of it here. It's, you gotta kind of stiffen it out. It's, it's rolled up tight. Looks like it was shipped in a, in a tube like that. But anyway, I, I was able to get it cut down, got it on the top and it looks really good. And one of the reasons I did this is I wanna be able to stand on this when I go to Florida and when we're trying to sightsee for fish in the bay and the shallow waters and stuff, this gives me a little bit higher platform to actually get up on and stand. It's sturdy and everything is kind of locked into this boat and not going anywhere. And that'll be nice and soft if I'm barefoot and I want to get up here and hop around and it won't, I won't slip around on it either. So anyway, that is what I put on the top. Here's the side of the box. And as you can see, we now have a USB port and I put that right on the side. Now, originally I went back and forth with it in my head. I kind of wanted to put it here and I landed right here on the side. And as you can see, it worked out really good because I can actually move my camera pole. It mounts right here on this track, but I can move it anywhere I want. And if you can see here, the cable just stays plugged in. I don't have to worry about anything at all, pulling it out, messing around and, you know, accidentally unplugging my camera because I don't know if you know this, but when you're running GoPros off of a battery source like this, you have to remove the internal battery or it just overheats. So this actually does not have a battery in it. And if this was to unplug from the Dakota Lithium battery box right here, it would just kill the camera completely and it would, you know, would stop recording. And if it, that was to happen, it would suck while I was filming if I didn't know it. But anyway, I added this really nice battery port. It's got a little flip down for water. I can actually turn this one on and off just by touching the power button from the outside. And we can plug it up when we're not using it and it's completely sealed. On the front of the box, I ended up going with the studs. And these are the same studs that I removed from that battery box that I was running. And if you look on the inside here, it looks like this. You open it up and it is just solid foam. And that is because I used this really thick egg crate looking material. It's, it's really dense stuff to encase the top of the Dakota Lithium. I'm gonna try to get some decent shots in here for y'all. What I ended up going with was styrofoam, the thicker white stuff on the sides, and I cut it into full squares. And I've got some right here. So these are actually the battery cutouts that I had left over that were in place of the sides there. So what I did was I took full sheets of this stuff, cut it to fit the box, then I set the battery in there, traced around the battery, cut these squares out, and I did it four times with four of these things, and I just stacked them and glued them, stacked them and glued them until I had a slot that's fully styrofoam, and this stuff is really, really dense stuff. And I was able to build me a slot of styrofoam to drop this Dakota lithium battery in, and it is not going anywhere. It is in here rock solid. You can kind of see how high up it comes on the battery all the way to there. It's over half of the batteries encased with it. And I also added these straps, this buckle right here that I was using on the other box. I took it, bolted it into this box, and now, not only is the battery encased in styrofoam, but we've also got a place to strap it down. This thing's not going anywhere. I'll show you the wiring really quick. There's the USB port that we installed there. And if you look to the front, I did have to cut these square slots out here because the studs that I put in, the positive and negative, that one there, as you can see, they were too short to make it all the way through. These angles are double walled. So you got an outside plastic, 
a thickness of foam and then an inside plastic. And the studs, they wouldn't go all the way through, so I had to cut an access hole, and it worked out good. If I could get a better shot of them, I will. And that's all I did. Everything's bolted in. But what's really cool about the way I got this is not only do I get to use this as a place to stand when I'm wanting to, you know, sight fish or, or pole around in Florida, but this battery is completely encased in here. It's completely surrounded by styrofoam. If I was to lose this Engel cooler going down the highway, I honestly think the cooler would probably get destroyed, but I don't think anything would happen to my battery. I think the battery would be safe in there and we'd be good to go. Also, all that foam in here, I'm pretty sure this, cup, this cooler would float even with that battery in it because those batteries don't weigh, they're not, not like a lead acid battery, they're not that heavy. And I don't think if I was to lose this like out on the surf or something in the ocean, I think this thing would float and I wouldn't have to worry about losing it. But there's only one way to find that out and I don't wanna find that out. <laughs> but yeah, that is complete. I'm sorry it took so long. I hope I got enough footage of the build. If you guys are interested in building something like this and you got questions, hit me up in the comment section below. I am gonna be doing some fishing this weekend. I'm planning on doing an MTB slam video for you guys very soon. If you don't know what that is, that is where I take out my monthly mystery tackle box. This one, I've actually, if you follow me on Instagram, I've got a picture of it open. There was some really good stuff in the box this month, so I wanna take advantage and go out and I wanna do a slam. And a slam is where you take your mystery tackle box, you go fishing, and you have to catch at least one fish with every lure in the box, every lure that was sent to you. So I'm gonna to try to do that this weekend if the weather permits it for me to go out there and catch some fish. We're going fishing this weekend. I'm gonna test this thing out and hopefully everything is coming in the mail right now for our next video, the partnership. I kinda of wanna to talk to you guys about once I make the announcement and we've got all the gear here, you know, about this new business that I'm gonna be working with, kayak specific stuff, not overpriced stuff, stuff that you're gonna to wanna to use to add to your kayak, to upgrade it or make your fishing experience better. So y'all stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna support the channel, hit that join button, become a member of the Yak Squad, and I'll catch you guys next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.